The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Francis de Sales Church on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. It's July 17th. It is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time and this is a sponsored Mass. It's being sponsored by Dolores Carney in memory of Thomas Carney. So Dolores, thank you for your generosity in making this Mass possible for a worldwide community and be assured of our prayers for Thomas during this Mass. We have a full church here at St. Francis gathered to celebrate. We have the Ursuline School from New Rochelle, New York. We have the Mary Lewis Academy from Jamaica, New York. We have St. Edmunds Prep High School from Brooklyn, New York. And we have Iona Prep Upper School from New Rochelle, New York. Happy to be with you in the prayer guides, if you have it, 16th Sunday, let's begin celebrating it together. Welcome everyone, and let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our loving God be with all of you. And, with your spirit. and as we come together to celebrate this great mystery of God's love for every one of us, let us call to mind our need for God's mercy. Let us trust in God's tenderness as we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, and he sat in the entrance of the tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, Please do not go past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little water that you may refresh yourselves and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, 
quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, choice steer, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set them before the three men. And he waited on them under the tree while they ate. Then Abraham, they asked Abraham, where is your wife Sarah? He replied, there in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. One who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart, and slanders not with his tongue. One who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. To Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care my sister has left me by myself to do the serving. Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Well, those of you who uh, tune into this Mass week after week have probably heard a good part of my story. My father, who uh, worked in Con Edison, and uh, my mother, who was a housekeeper and a secretary. My father's job was kind of uh, a dirty job. He walked, worked in the powerhouse in Manhattan. We lived in Brooklyn in a uh, 
in a four-story walk-up apartment. And then one day, life sort of changed for us. My father retired. And he sat around the house, and he had absolutely nothing to do. And he drove my mother crazy. My mother said she would get up, and my father would be sitting there, so what are we doing today? And he would follow her around the house, and she was very, very busy, and he left her little notes, and these are things that we could do. And one day she took me outside, she says, Bobby, I'm divorcing your father, I can't live with him. I absolutely cannot live with him. He follows me around, he needs to go out, and he needs to get his own friends. Well, they didn't. And I was thinking about this gospel when I was... Uh, when I was thinking about them. You know, Martha and Mary are two sisters who live together, and really they are two parts of who we are. Both of those sisters are within us. There is a very, very busy Martha who's always running around and doing stuff and having to accomplish things and cleaning up. And then there's the Mary part of us that sits and waits and listens and tries to get in touch with a quieter part of herself. Isn't that sometimes what uh, we long for in ourselves? We uh, get so busy about so many things and so many very good things, and then every once in a while, we just have to uh, stop and sit and kind of get things in balance and what is my life about, and why am I doing what I'm doing? And maybe some of that challenge is within you, too. And maybe, you know, as you uh, young people gather here today, it's so wonderful to see all of you. And your life, I guess, is probably very, very busy, right? I mean, you've got a lot of studies, and you've got exams. I mean, right now might be the summertime, and you can kick back. But the thing is that most of life, it's what school am I going to go to? What college am I going to go to? Exams that I have to pass? Who are my friends? Am I ever going to get a date? And then there are some times, I think, that you really have to take a step back and believe in your own goodness, your own self-worth. You uh, take a trust in your own self-worth and in your own goodness that there is nobody in this life that will ever be the same as you. Don't worry about what everybody else has. Just be concerned with what God has given you and the happiness that God wants you to have. In the midst of all the busyness in your life, don't forget God, and don't forget that you're loved. And Caitlin, happy birthday to you today. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us bring our prayers today to our loving God, who always welcomes and embraces us. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our sponsor, Dolores Carney, in memory of Thomas Carney, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, as we seek to become a more hospitable place for all believers and seekers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a generous welcome to all refugees and immigrants throughout the world, especially in our own country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of those who serve in our armed forces and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for Eileen Nancaville, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Glorious God, in you we always find a home, and with you we are always welcome. We ask you to grant these prayers that we make on behalf of your people in need. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now let us together pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to his banquet.
in a week we fall down at your feet dying here with you oh let us rise bread of life bread of life those who eat this bread shall Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you, Father Robert, for presiding at Mass, and thank all of you for joining us for this celebration. Especially want to thank the schools that have joined us here at St. Francis de Sales. We have the Ursuline School from New Rochelle, New York. We have the Mary Lewis Academy from Jamaica, New York. St. Edmonds Preparatory High School from Brooklyn, New York, and Iona Prep Upper School from New Rochelle. So thanks to all of you for joining us here today as well. Also want to thank our sponsor, Dolores Carney, for sponsoring this Mass in memory of Thomas Carney. Dolores, again, thank you for your generosity and support. And thank you to all of you for your generosity and support. You who join us weekly, you should have received the assumption letter of the summer letter. There are intentions that you can send in with that letter. Place them next to the altar. So please, if you haven't received it, on the website, thesundaymass.org, you can find it there. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you back here next Sunday to celebrate again. Preceding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.